Welcome back everybody, your typical bull here, and today we are going to be talking about the Prince. But before we get into it, please do remember to like, subscribe, and comment. Your support really helps the channel to grow, and if this channel has helped you anyway, do please consider joining the YouTube program. It costs $4.99 a month. You'll get access to my weekly updated watch list, or joining the Patreon page. Uh, so... The prints are the price the stock is trading at right now. They're going to show you if the orders are being filled on the bid, the offer, or the ask. So the offer and the ask are basically the same thing. Or somewhere in between the market. They are located on the bottom side of Weeble in the level 2 box. It's going to be right here. Uh, before electronic charts were common, uh, this is basically how traders used to figure out if a stock was weak or strong. Technology has come a long way since then, but the concepts are still basically the same. Uh, with the prints, you can still kind of figure out the strength and weakness of a stock, and you can see where the buyers and sellers are. And combining this with the modern technology, you can gain an edge that many traders today just don't have. So what do all the different colors in the box mean? So you're going to see three different colors. You're going to see red, you're going to see white, and you're going to see green. A red print means a trade was taken on the bid, which would be over here on the left-hand side. A green print means the trade was taken on the ask, which is going to be over here on the right-hand side. And a white print is taken somewhere in between the two. This is also called an inside market trade. Uh, white prints on very liquid stocks usually mean an order is being filled for a hidden buyer or seller or an algorithm. Uh, so these prints, yeah, they go really, really fast, uh, especially in today's markets with all the volume and all of the added retail traders that we have. Um, it's going to move very quickly and it's difficult to keep track of it but over time you'll improve and you'll get faster at kind of figuring out important information on even the lightning fast stocks here like Apple and Spy and stuff. Uh, prints are basically the indicator that prints all of the other indicators. Prints make the candles and prints are the volume. The indicators are um, built from this information. Uh, so what does it mean when there is a lot of the same color? So if the stock keeps printing red or on the bid at lower prices, it's going to be a sign of weakness. It could mean that a move down is going to follow soon after. If a stock keeps printing green on the offer or the ask, this is a sign of strength and it could trade higher. It means that people are rushing in to buy the stock and they are paying the offer. So they want in now and they don't want to wait on a bid to be filled. Uh, so what about very, very large prints? So when a stock is printing numbers like 100, 300, 200 and repeatedly at let's say a price of like ten dollars and all of a sudden our print shows on the screen for seventy five thousand at that ten dollar price point this is a big print big prints are usually institutions and they will very often push the order flow because of how much weight they can throw around so this can kind of let you in on what the institutions are doing you can need to pay very close attention to these big prints it can show you what they're what they uh, what these hedge funds are about it creates an important price level if a stock keeps trading at ten dollars and people are continuing to bid on it this could mean a move higher is very close and you can get into a very low risk trade here by just putting a stop loss under that bid and then if that bid drops you stop out you lose a couple of pennies and it's no big deal if all the bids drop after this big print, it could mean that the price is going to go lower. And once again, you could trade the other side of that. Uh, so you should watch your charts and the prints to see how people react to these price levels that these big prints are happening on moving forward. Remember, big prints are relative. If something's regularly been trading 1,000 shares or 2,000 shares, another print slightly higher or slightly lower than this is not going to be considered a big print. It'll be an out of the ordinary print. It'll stick out and say, hey, look at me. I'm a big print. 
So a big print followed by another big print at a higher stock price. So let's use our $10 stock from above as an example again. Let's say you see 75,000 shares on this print and then another print follows after the stock moves up a little at say $10.15 for 100,000 shares. This is going to be a very, very good indication of a move higher. This is a sign of institutional buying and it's very, very bullish. So that means an institution is picking up shares but they're trying to hide their total size and they don't want to just buy all at one time so they're buying in kind of like, like a ladder almost. If you see this on a stock has been trending down, this might be a great time to get long. Um, I'm not trying to say catch a falling knife here, but if something's been downtrending and a big print moves the price higher and then another big print comes in at a higher price and all of the bids are still kind of holding and the bids are starting to get maybe a little faster, it could be a great time to start a long position and vice versa for the other side. If you see a big print and then another big print lower, it could be a great time to get short on the stock. It's a sign of weakness. So the speed of the prints matters as well. So every stock's going to print at different speeds, but if a stock is printing on the offer and then starts printing much faster, this is going to be a sign that the buyers are getting more aggressive. This is a bullish sign. It may be about to break out if this happens at a previous resistance level. Or if an offer steps down and gets taken out immediately, this could mean there's a strong demand at that price. So if an offer steps down and it's lifted quickly and starts printing on the offer quickly, the stock is strong and the offers are being taken quickly. The buyers are willing to pay whatever the offer is right now to get on. So if the stock print starts slowing down drastically, it may be something you just don't want to be playing at the moment because there's not a lot of interest there. Um, remembering how much volume is traded at a certain price is going to be very important in tape reading. If a certain price has an unusual amount of volume, this is going to be an important level. And you can use this area to base your trades off of. So generally, the more volume at a certain price level, the larger the expected move from that level is once the price starts to go um, a direction and move away from that. So keep in mind that volume is also relative. And keep in mind that you shouldn't be hyper-focused on just the tape. Just because a lot of volume is traded does not mean you should be long and just because it has gone up a small amount doesn't mean you should be long. You need to use your charts and your other indicators in confluence with this tape here. Nothing is foolproof. So hidden buyers and sellers. If you notice a lot of white prints uh, between the bid and the offer, re like repeatedly, this is very likely a hidden buyer. Pay attention to these prints. If the offers are stepping down and being taken over and over again, it means that the buyer is accumulating shares and is willing to pay the ask. So every time the offer steps down, he snatches those shares up. This is going to be a very bullish sign. And this is the opposite of this is true for sellers. Uh, so Big buyers and sellers refreshing. If a bid keeps refreshing and does not drop, this could be an example of a big buyer trying to determine how much is being bought at that level. So what I mean by a bid refreshing, let's say um, you see 500 shares here. That bid gets taken in. Then you see another 500 shares at the same price. That bid gets picked up also. You see another 500 shares at the same price. That bid gets picking up. This could be a big buyer who's trying to hide his total order size. Um, I, we kind of just talked about it. I even wrote it down. So you could jump in here at that same price or even a penny above it with a very small risk. So you, your risk would be just get out if that buyer drops his bid, right? So if we see a big buyer or a seller on the opposite side of our trade, when we 
it should be probably a good time to get out of a position thinking it could be going against us. Say, uh, for instance, we're long. Uh, BBB is the ticker I just kind of made up. And notice a very large seller, so we exit. And then the big seller lifts his offer. This is a good indication that he could be like finished selling and we could likely get long again. Same story for big buyers. If they're lifting, it may be time to exit our longs and go short. Uh, do keep in mind that any any indicator can be wrong. This We're playing a game of probabilities and edges here. We're going to be more successful when we trade with confluence. Several indicators all pointing to the same thing means a higher rate of success. This doesn't mean that every indicator has to be pointing to go, but you should always remember to manage your risk at every available opportunity. So when you combine your level two you combine your prints and your charts and your indicators. You can see the demand for a stock at certain prices. You can find these big buyers and you can find these sellers, even if they're hidden, because you can watch this as they print. And it's going to allow you to identify high probability trades that you may not see just by using one of these things alone. And you can see everything happening real time on these prints, your level two, your charts and your indicators and you're going to be a lot better off and have a lot better chance at success because of it. So that's going to pretty much cover it for this video. I do hope that this has helped you guys to understand the tape. If you have questions or comments, you can leave them in the comments below or email me at yourtypicalbull at gmail.com. So once again, before we get out of here, please do remember to smash that like button. And if you would consider subscribing, that would be phenomenal as well. And with that being said, I will see all of you guys in the next video. Cheers.